Libra, you have the power. Libra, I'm getting you have the power to restore the relationship and overcome a disappointing loss. A very difficult time for you. You and this person went through a lot. This person helped away from you because whatever it was, you two weren't getting along. They had fucked around with somebody else. They had somebody else on the side. I'm getting you will be restoring this relationship and having a new beginning with this person. Uh, and you have the power to create this. You have the power to overcome whatever it is that you two uh, causes all out between you two. Now, this reading will be for all Libras. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury of that sign. This will be a time this reading. So whenever you watch this, I mean, it'll be the right time for you to watch it. We're going to get right into it. So welcome to Profound Effect Tarot. I'm Brandon Lickey. I'm doing this reading for all Libras. Libra, it's an excellent time to be a Libra because it's a, it's, this this is... You have you have the power working in your favor right now, Libra. You have uh, something working in your favor where you can overcome any setbacks that you've had in your relationship. Uh, and this 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 is an exciting time to do a reading for you. I was having a um, having some technical difficulties for a minute. I tried multiple times to get this reading started for you, and for whatever reason, it wanted me to keep retrying. So, got this thing started. Excited to begin uh, doing this reading for you. But yeah, Libra, I'm getting you have the power to manifest this thing and recover from something that's been occurring for you for a long time. You've been having a lot of setbacks with this person or you've been having a fallout with this person multiple times. I mean, you're finally going to be able to overcome that and you're finally going to be able to have a consistent, uh, something consistent going with this with this person. But yeah, this person had fucked around you. They left you disappointed. But I see you're going to be restoring this. You have the Four of Wands coming out here for your first card. So this is restoring peace and harmony to your love connection. This is uh, something that you've worked on for a while. You two have a, a stable connection here with this uh, Four of Wands coming in. Um, so unlike my internet, your, your connection has been very stable. Or it's about to be here with this Four of Wands coming out. This is you restoring that stability to your connection. And like I just said, this is something that's been missing for you for a, for a while here from this person. You've been waiting to, to get this stability coming in or to take things to the next level so that this thing won't be so rocky anymore. Well, your person will be showing you love one minute and then, then, you know, fucking around with their, their um, whoever, whoever the fuck the next minute. This person can be showing you a lot of love and support here. But yeah. That four of wands letting you know that this thing, you're, you're about to take this relationship to the next level with this person. And it's been stagnant on YouTube and trying to move on to the next phase or make this something more. Uh, the four of wands let you know that this is about to become more serious between you two. Um, it's, it, you know, if you've been friends with benefits, it's going to become an actual relationship. Now, if you've been in a relationship, this is something that is going to become, uh, you, you're going to become married or, or uh because this person gonna propose to you. And you see it here with the six of pentacles, like this person was giving you little little tidbits. They weren't really feeding this connection as much as you wanted them to, or they were giving to somebody else. You see it here with the six pentacles. It's like you have the uh, the philanthropist giving to these beggars. You see him giving to one beggar here and the other beggar, like, well, where's where's my meal? Where my where's my love at? So um that's what's going to be coming in for you here you're going to be getting a lot more love and appreciation thank you very much um you're going to get a lot more love and appreciation coming in and it's not it's not going to be it's not going to be all one sided where your person not going to be feeding this other connection and giving you like little breadcrumbs while you're sitting on the outside wondering where the fuck's my love at where's where's my support at you know how come how come you know we've been we've been working on this connection but you've been, you've been leaving me down here and you've been, you've been giving all this love to this other person here. It's not that's not going to be the case anymore. I see that your person will be taking this relationship more seriously with you. You two be taking this thing to the next level here with that four of wands coming out, um, getting stability. And they're going to be given to you instead of whoever this other person is. So doing away with the side piece. Yeah, there you said with the death card here. So an ending. Is coming in. Um, that's what I see. Look at all these dead bodies here. Your person can be can be putting the, an end to a lot of other connections or a lot of other people that have been barking up their tree or trying to take their attention away, take their time away from you. So it's like you're not getting any love and affection here. It's it's giving been giving to somebody else. It, it's about to be the end of that shit. Death card is the end of suffering, the end of a of a difficult time period. This is the the, the black plague here, War of the Roses. This is going to be end of the black plague, the end of a time, the end of suffering, end of misery and decay. 
And this is going to be you two restoring this relationship and having a bright future ahead here with this card coming out. It represents the, the beginning of the renaissance, a time of celebration and happiness is going to be coming in for you. And you see it right here with the Four of Wands, celebration. You two may be meeting up at a, a festive event, celebrating together here, the Four of Wands. But I do see you two restoring this connection, and your person is going to be giving a lot more time and energy to you. And there you have it, you know, the high priestess coming out for your person. You know, she person has very uh, strong intuition. It's like they they trust what they're feeling. They they have a very powerful feeling about you, and they can't deny this. That's the, that's why they gave more time and attention to you now. Or they're going to be giving more to you now because they feel that there is a stronger connection, or their intuition is barking at them to give you more time and attention, to give you more love. They can't deny these deep feelings that they're having. This uh, powerful connection that's there, and that's what they. That's what they're about to be giving to you here is a lot more love because of this. And you see it here. The high priestess has hands on practical knowledge. So it's like she's been through a lot of relationships. She knows the difference between a watered down, weak ass connection and something that's real. Your person can feel that what you two have is for real and that this is an undeniable feeling that they have for you with the high priestess coming out. Um, this connection is going to become more powerful. Yeah, and there you have it, the Ace of Swords. So your person came to a realization. The Ace of Swords is an aha moment. You're just like, oh, shit, I realized that we have a powerful connection. We have something special here. Um, I'm not I'm not feeling this way about whoever the fuck else I was fucking around with. Um, these other people I was giving my time and my energy to. It just was never there. Your person's going to find out, like, hey, look, I want to I wanna take this thing to the next level with you. You know, I'm, I'm tired of fucking around with these other options. These feelings I have for you are undeniable here with the High Priestess. Very strong, uh, very strong intuitive, uh, uh, very strong spiritual connection you two have with this card coming out. You see here with the crescent moon representing spirituality and uh, the high priestess who is very in touch with her intuition. You know, she speaks directly with the uh, the queen of cups, somebody who has, has deep, a deep emotional connection with her, very, uh, very strong connection. Um, she's a seer. She's somebody who communicates telepathically. And this person is able to communicate in that way with you on a, on a, on a deeper level than others. Their, commu your, their communication style is very different. So with this Ace of Swords coming out, it's like your person's realizing this, that the, you two, this connection is very rare. This, this what you two, you two have is different from these other connections that they had. And they're about to be coming through and, and uh, making that clear to you. So you two are on the same page here. The Ace of Swords, a card of great force and great change. So that's what's going to be coming into your relationship here when this uh, communication comes in. When this clarity comes in, when you first like, oh shit, I realized that this you're the one I want to be with. You're the one I want to um, share these ideas with. But yeah, that Ace of Swords, it's a card of a victorious struggle. That's what you two are going to be having here. This person can come through to show you a lot of love. Yeah, because they feel left out over here. They, they, your person was the one who ended up giving more time and energy to somebody else. And now they're feeling left out, rejected here. They feel like they're the outside. They're like, oh shit. Um, I realize I have a lot of love for you. Um, now your person for a while, it's like they did have these feelings for you. They couldn't deny that they had these strong feelings for you, but they were too proud to come forward and be like, oh, this is how I feel. And I, I really want to be with you or whatever the deal is. The, your person was held back with this coming out. And the high priestess is not somebody who's very uh, aggressive or she's not somebody who's going to come forward and be like, look, this is how I feel. She communicates very differently because she, she's a, a seer. She's a um, she's a psychic. She communicates telepathically. So she's not somebody who will typically come forward and be like, look, I really want to be I wanna, really want to be with you. I really want I really want to go out with you, whatever the deal is. Your person was too proud to say this or, or to come forward because they knew you had a thing for them. They knew that you wanted to be with them. They could intuitively, they could feel this, they could sense this, that you wanted to take things to the next level or that you two, um, they, they wanted, you wanted to be with them romantically. Um, but with the five of pentacles here, your person was too proud to ask for it or too proud to say anything about it. Um, as you can see here by these, these people outside, um, uh, freezing to death with this warm church right here, they could go inside if they wanted to. But they're too proud to ask for help. It's the same thing with your person. They, they, they are left out because they were too proud to say anything about it, how they truly felt.
But this is about to be coming out. You saw with the Ace of Swords, a person's about to make it clear how they truly feel and what they want out of this connection. Uh, that they want to work and build on this thing with you with this Eight of uh, Pentacles coming out. And you two are going to be, uh, this is going to start to do with laying the groundwork. You two are going to be building a strong foundation here with this connection because of this, this uh, deep spiritual connection that you two have. Um, these feelings you two have are undeniable here. And this person, your person you're dealing with has been very hot and cold, but that's about to change. There's going to be more consistency going on here, like I said before. Um, they're going to be showing you more love because they don't want to be left out in the cold anymore. They don't want to be rejected. So they're going to be coming forward to work on this thing with you. And there will be success here. That's what I'm seeing for you too, uh, Libra. I'm seeing success coming in. And you see the scales here. These are for you, Bieber. See here, these represent the uh, scales of discernment here. But yeah, balance is going to be restored here. The person is going to be giving more to you instead of whoever this other option is, whoever this person is here. And I'm also getting to that Six of Pentacles. That has to do with uh, the philanthropist. That has to do with giving. I get that you get satisfaction out of giving your time and energy to this person. You like to be the giver. You've been you've been getting um giving to this connection is going to help you restore it. Because your person here, they're too proud to ask for help. They're too proud to say, hey, I want your attention. I want your time. I want your love. Uh, but it, it, they're kind of like giving you that intuitive nudge that they want more of your time. They want more of your attention. They want more love. But they're too proud to ask for it here with that five of pentacles. They're, they're out they're out here in the cold. They feel like an outsider. They feel like they 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 can't ask you for help or they 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 shouldn't ask you for help. Or for asking for your time or your attention. The Pot Priestess is not somebody who begs for attention. She's not somebody who's out here like, like, give me attention. I, I need your attention, or I, I want I want your love. I need um, I I feel I feel um uh, I feel like I'm left out without you. I feel like you know I'm, I'm hurt without you. The Pot Priestess is not gonna say these things. She's not gonna come out, she's not gonna say it. She's not somebody who's a, a very verbal communicator, she's not gonna come out and say these things. Um but she's going to give you the the idea or some hints that that's what she wants. But you have it coming out here, the six of wands at the bottom of the deck. So you have you're being rewarded for your efforts here. Your person's going to be coming through and fulfilling your desires with that six of wands coming out. You're going to get what you want here. Six of wands is a victory card, and this is you being rewarded for your hard work and your efforts here. That six coming out, so this is very good. You're getting recognition here. You see these people in the background following you. For, for what you're doing there. They're following your, your way, following your success, following your path for success here. So you have people following your ways. You have people giving you recognition for having success, for, for, for making this thing work with your person, saying, well, how did, how did you do this? For somebody that's, that's a terrible communicator, they're not even trying. Or, you know, they have somebody on the side here. They're, they're you know, they, they let, they put you out, whatever the deal was. You're being, how did you restore this connection? How did you get your fulfillment? from this how did you how did you take this to the next level with this person so you're going to be getting a lot of followers here a lot of recognition for your success you're getting your desires fulfilled your person's coming through to uh to um to please you to satisfy you after feeling rejected yeah there you have it the judgment card so your person wants to restore this relationship. Judgment card, aka the final judgment. This is your person's final judgment call based off of all, all the effort and energy you put into this relationship. They're saying, you know what? I see something special here. I know something special when I see it. I've been through some of the worst and some of the best relationships you could ever experience in my life. Your person's been through some of the roughest times with their relationship. So it's like they know the difference between when, when, when they find somebody good, they know it. Your person could just feel it. And they want to restore this thing with you. You two have been working on this for a while with that judgment card coming out. See, so a person's like, you know what? I want to I want to revive this. Has to do with revival. This has to do with restoration, resuscitation here. So I'm seeing you you dragging this this lifeless dead relationship out of the out of the out of the waters here. This thing that was 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 frozen, frozen and dead. You're dragging that lifeless heap up out of the water here. Breathe a new life into your, your person here. And there it is. You getting that second chance. With this uh, judgment card coming out, so your person is giving you a second chance here, restoring this connection with you, bringing back what you two had lost, saying, "I want to get back together. I want to give you a second chance." 
yeah, you got the ten of wands here. So I'm telling you, keep pushing. You know, this this is this is what you had to carry on your own. You feel like you had to do most of the work, if not all the work, on your own here with this ten of uh, wands coming out. You feel like you had to carry a heavy burden, like you you did too much work, or you had to do too much work to have success here. But you're not seeing that this this is leading you towards success. The ten of wands, you're, you're right there. You're like you're you're almost done with this struggle. You're you're, you're right. You're coming to the end of a time of struggle and a time of of, of difficulty and uh, and your person not giving you the love that you want. You're going to be breaking out of this cold, lifeless heap that you've been dealing with. Your person's not going to be feeding this other connection or, or giving you little to no time anymore. They're going to be wanting to bring this connection back to life here with you, just like these departed souls being brought back to life by the angel Gabriel here, getting a second chance, being judged, saying, you know what? You deserve, you deserve a second chance at life. You deserve another chance, another go. So your person sees here that you were breaking your back. You've been wanting to try and make this thing work. You want to restore this connection. They're going to be giving you a second chance here. I see some of you are going to be meeting up at a, a festival event. You're going to be meeting up at a... Person going to be finding a, find a spot to meet you at. And then you have the King of Cups, restoring emotional stability to your love life here. This is very good. This uh, King of uh, the King of Cups reigns over his emotions, so that's going to be you. You're going to be uh, getting uh, stabilizing your emotions once again, feeling confident, feeling good about yourself, and um, restoring what was lost here. The King of Cups is like beside him. He reigns over the seas. He calms those turbulent waters. That's what this person is going to help you do. They're going to help you uh, get that get that balance back, restore your uh, your confidence. Yeah, they're cutting you some slack. You see six swords coming out here at the bottom decks. What you don't see is your person, they're transitioning away from a difficult situation, and they're going to be showing you a lot more love and affection here soon. They're, your person your person is going through that transition right now. They're moving away from difficulty, and they're moving towards you here. This is a card of progress. So you saw with the six of wands earlier, you're going to have success. You're going to have that victory that you want with your person. They're going to come through to fulfill your desires. Things are just moving very slowly. With the six of swords it's because this card you see you're moving through the water here so it takes a lot longer to get to your destination it's part of a sea voyage so it's taking you a lot longer to get to the, to get to your destination but you are going to get there it's saying that you're you're moving in the right direction with this person you're making progress slow and steady is going to win the race for you here with the six of swords uh but yeah it's letting you know your person gonna cut you some slack soon if things have been difficult if your person not gonna give you any love any any affection any other time their energy that's about to change here because you saw with the ten of the ten of wands for us it's like you were breaking your back you were lifting all this weight uh, carrying this heavy burden all on your own your person was doing little to no work or they were giving to somebody else they were leaving you out in the cold here they left you hanging but with the six of uh swords coming here it's, it's letting you know that you're going to still make progress here with this person that you're able to move forward successfully Despite the fact that you two have had setbacks or your person has been giving time and energy to somebody else, you two are going to be able to move past that and still have success here. So this is very good. Restoring emotional stability, restoring what you two once had. And taking this thing to the next level, you see here with the Four of Wands, your first card was that Four of Wands. It's a next level card. So this is a very good card to get. You start to reading a card of romance, a card of um, uh, restoring peace and harmony to your love connection. Yeah, a lot of passion, a lot of excitement coming in. Yeah, look at that. Ace of Cups. There it is. Fucking bursting, bursting with excitement, overflowing with passion coming in here with that ace coming out. <clears throat> Excuse me. But this has to do with restoring contentment to your relationship. What once was will be again. When you two first were connecting, it's like this thing was 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 passionate. It was hot. It was it was exciting. It was fun with this card coming out. And now you're going to be restoring that phase with this person. Like I said before, you're getting that second chance, that judgment card. This is you two restoring what was dead and lost, 
with this connection. Now it's going to be brought back to life. There it is. There's a life giving waters pouring out of that chalice, washing away all that bullshit you had to deal with. Who, who the fuck were you giving to over here? We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna wash that away. So I don't think so. You're supposed to be giving to, to you're supposed to be giving to me. We're supposed to be taking this thing to the next level here. We had the passion. We had the, we had the fun connection here. Ours was the one that was going to have some growth to it. You see here with that canopy, this thing, this thing was, was built to last. It was built to grow. We're supposed to be taking this thing to the next level. And here you see it here. This is a, this is a card. Uh, this is the Holy Grail here representing a uh, holy matrimony, holy unions. So the, I'm getting, this is a, this is a holy, um, holy, uh, a holy connection you have here or a blessed connection you have and there's those purifying waters cleansing it and bringing you that bringing that bringing that uh, renewal that energy of renewal to this connection here restoring what you two once had that brand new beginning it's also card of commonalities it's like you two have a lot in common and it's you can't deny these feelings you have for each other Now you have the Ace of Wands coming out. So unexpected encounter coming in from your person. Out of nowhere, it's like you two are going to have that new beginning and things are going to heat back up very quickly for you two. Uh, for many of you, you're going to have a sexual encounter with this person with that Ace of Wands coming out that's that, that new passion um, happening for you too. So I see that for many of you, you're going to have a sexual encounter with this person if you've never had sex. If you have had sex, it's about to become fun again or very intense again, very, very hot, very passionate with that Ace of Wands. It's letting you know that your person needs your spark. They need they need that fiery passion and energy in their life, and that's what they get out of you, um, Libra. They're they're missing that with their other options that they had. Um, you see it here with the high priestess. It's like she's very cold and detached. That's how she was feeling in this relationship. She was cold and detached. She really was was not um, passionate, not not involved. Um, the high priestess. She's she's like very cold and aloof. She's not. Um, really passionate and involved in her connection. And you see here with the five of pentacles, look at this, cold, detached. The person felt like they were an outsider here with that five of pentacles. Now it's like they, they, they're they overflowing with passion and excitement here with the ace of cups and the ace of wands coming up. It's like this, it's like a complete 180 that you're doing for your person here. Um, but you got the, you're bringing the excitement back in your person's love life here. You're bringing that thrill back. You're bringing that passion back. That fun, exciting sex back that your person was missing. Um, the Ace of Wands is bringing the bringing out that new creativity, those new ideas, that new uh, that new energy to your connection. It's it's, it's and making a person feel lively again, and making them feel uh, making them feel excited to be in a relationship. Before it's like they didn't want to be in a relationship, or they weren't um, excited about it, they weren't feeling it. When you get when you hook up with your person, it's like you're going to be uh, breathing some new life into them, uh, but bringing that that spark of passion, that heat. Um, back into your person's life, um, br bringing that heat to this cold, dead woman here, um, this cold, attached person. Um, you're going to be bringing them back to life, resuscitating. Like I said, you're going to be dragging them out of that cold, dead water here um, with this judgment card and just, just breathe a new life into them. So that's what I see for your connection here. I see you restoring that passion, restoring that excitement that you two once had, bringing this thing back to life, resuscitating your person. Giving them, giving them hope, giving them a reason to live. Yeah, before your person did not want anything to do with relationships, and they were they were too proud to ask for help or to to reach out to you here. But um, you saw with the Ace of Swords too. The Ace of Swords want to come out early, so these these Aces are coming out for you. There's there's brand new energy coming in. There's brand new communication coming in. There's a brand new start for you too, on the way. Your person wants to get back together. Your first card was the Four of Wands, so it's like right now is the perfect time to try and restore this relationship or to try and get back with your person with that Four of Wands coming out. It's a it's a great time to take advantage of this energy. For you two to be able to restore this or to take this thing to the next level, restore that passion, restore that excitement, restore your sex life, which has been dead and cold for a long time here. Just you've been getting a little tidbits. You know, your person they've been giving, they've been feeding you scraps, starving you to death. You know, and it's you can't survive off of that. You can't, your relationship is not going to thrive off of what you've been given. When you when you restore this thing with your person, when that brand new beginning comes in, when that ace of cups comes, comes busting out. And, and you start overflowing here with that with that excitement. Your person is overflowing that excitement to see you again. You have that new beginning. And then that ace of wands comes out, that surprise sexual encounter. 
I see that that's going to revive these things. That's going to that's going to that's going to revive what was once dead and lost in this connection. The excitement, the thrill is going to be back. Your sex life is going to be alive once again. And you have the two of wands coming out here. So it's like you, you have options. What's coming out? You've been contemplating what, what choice you're gonna make, who you're gonna be with. Because I mean you could you could be with somebody else if you wanted to be your Libra. You have another option. And your person, it's like they treated you like a side piece with the six of pentacles coming out. It's like they they were back and forth here. This wish washy energy. I'd give it a little bit to you, then give a little bit to this other person. But I'm getting this is the one to go with here, despite the fact that they've been cold towards you, despite the fact that they've been uh, inconsistent or wishy-washy, they were too proud to ask for help. I see that this is the person to go with here, the one that's going to be wanting to restore this connection with you. That's where the passion is going to be at. You saw it with the Ace of Wands. It's going to surprise you that, that this passion is going to come back to your relationship or that the sex is going to be hot after this person's been very cold and distant towards you. I, I get that that's going to be a surprise. And Ace of Cups here, this is no surprise that, that, that you two have a lot in common and that this person excites you or that this person um, brings out that passion. But that's what I see coming out for you here. This person has pure intentions. They're a very good person with these uh, these these purifying waters coming out. This, this, this person has, has like a purity about them. And they help cleanse whatever it is that, that caused you this, these, these issues in your relationship in the first place. So they're the right choice to make. I mean, you're going to have success if you continue going forward with this person instead of jumping to some other option. Yeah, you see here with the Four of Swords, you just had to give this thing a little bit of a rest. You had to take a break. It was important. You just, you just got used to need a break from this relationship. I get that you, whatever it was, you... Um, you two were not on the same page, and your person was was involved with somebody else here, and just whatever it was, it's like it's the the time wasn't right. But I see you restoring this thing after taking a step back, taking a break, seeing it, seeing what it is, what you were fighting for, why you wanted to be in this relationship. When you take that step back and you, you, you take a rest and you, you think about this, I see you're going to want to restore this relationship with your person, and I see it being being better this time around. I see this when you two restore this thing. That it's going to be more exciting this time around. You two are going to be on the same page. The passion is going to be hotter. The sex is going to be better. Because this is somebody that understands you. The Ace of Cups, it's like, it's like, do you two have a mutual understanding with this card coming out as well? That's that's what that represents. I see you two have a mutual understanding for each other, what, your, what each other's needs are. Whereas before, it's like this person just had too much going on to understand your needs. You saw earlier with the Ten of Wands, like over overwhelmed. You're too overwhelmed. There's too much extra shit going on for you to focus on what what you what your needs were. What uh, there was too much going on for your person to focus on your needs here. But now that you took a step back and rested and recovered, now you two are able to come together successfully, be on the same page. Yeah, because your person they've been turning down options left and right. They're bored. Look at them over here with the four cups. They were not getting fulfillment. They were not getting satisfaction from whoever else that was uh, offering them love here. And they, with the high priestess, it's like they could feel that. They could sense that. The high priestess knows the difference. She's had a lot of experience, this woman right here. She's very intelligent. She's very she's very wise. She can, she can sense it. She could feel it. And she wasn't feeling it with any of these other options that were coming in. These four cups, empty ass offers. Your person was falling asleep. From these other people that were giving love here, they're like, I can't, I can't even deal with this shit. What are you doing? I can't get get that get that bullshit out of my face. I don't want to, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to look at it. You disgust me. You make me sick. I don't want to fucking deal with you. Whoever, whoever these other options were just no good for your person. They were just there were just some some empty, lifeless, no good options here. Your person got bored, whatever it was. They didn't look, that's the difference between that and that the, the, your person was offering an empty S cup here. You could see this one was overflowing. This this one this one this cup here was was filled to the brim, fucking bursting bursting with passion, overflowing with with excitement. Your person here to get back with you after after dealing with this, they found out the grass was not greener. They found out whatever other options were out there. They didn't want to deal with that shit, and they they found a new they found a new love for you here with this ace cups coming in. This is this is. Like I said, things are going to be better than they were last time around because your person appreciates you more now that they see these other options weren't shit. 
they were that bored and and and, and stuck. And you see it here. Look, they 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 closed their eyes. They said, "I don't want to see this shit anymore. I don't want, I don't want to look at these terrible options." They turned their back. Said, "I don't think so." We're going. We're going with the original pick here. Restoring the fun and excitement that we once had with that ace coming in. That's that brand new beginning. Versus that, you know what? I, I want to give you a second chance here. I want to bring this thing back to life because whatever I was dealing with, it was I, I was worse off with them. Than these 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 bloated dead people getting dragged out of this lifeless water here. I was, I was better off with this. Been feeding this no good boring ass connection here. The six of pentacles. So I was better off with this. But yeah, your person, they, they're not inspired by their other options or whatever they're else doing. They're not inspired. They're not excited. The sex is no good. Your person is like, like, like having to pretend that, that they're having a good time. It's like your person doesn't even want to fake it. They don't want to fake it no more. You two don't have to fake it. And your person is going to want to commit to you here. I said it earlier with you two taking things to the next level. Your first card was the Four of Wands. Now you're getting the Queen of Pentacles coming out here at the bottom of the deck. So Queen of Pentacles, she plans ahead. She's looking. She's like, look, I see a good, I see a, a, a successful future with you. I see us having a lot of fun. I see us doing well, thriving, having success here. And that's what I want in my future. I want my future to look good. I don't want, I don't want to be falling asleep, you know, on the first date. You know, you're saying we were already, we, we already ran out of shit to talk about. We, we've been hanging out for like 30 seconds. The fuck is this? <laughs> you know, we when we got together, it's like we were talking and laughing for hours. You know, this shit kept going on and on. This this was this was uh, this was overflowing with excitement. Here. I, 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 I couldn't I couldn't contain the excitement I felt for you when we first were hanging out. We we got together. I could I couldn't I couldn't contain that shit. For these, I'm like I never I never felt anything with this. It was never there. Where where was this? Where did this go? Where was that person that I could share all my ideas with, all my fun times with? That king of cups, so somebody that shoulder I could cry on, somebody I could share all my feelings with. Where was that person? Tell me, get over that, all, all that bullshit I was dealing with. Where was that? Where was that person to give me that kind and caring advice to support me when I was going through those tough times? <laughs> Your person gonna come through and say, you know what, that was you. I want to restore that stable connection that we once had here. I want, I want I see a future with you here. That Queen of Pentacles coming out. By the way, your person also is very uh, physically drawn to you. They find you very beautiful, very sexy. Um, I say this because you saw the Ace of Wands coming out earlier. So it's like your person, they they are very turned on by you. They want sex. They're going to be coming through to have sex. And you see it here with the, uh, the rabbit here in the corner of the card. Queen of Pentacles representing fertility. Your person's very fertile. They're very sexual. Um, they're very turned on by you. So your person's going to come through. They're going to want a lot of sex. You're, you're dealing with somebody who... Uh, Likes to have a lot of sex. They have a they're a bit of a nymphomaniac or have a very strong sex drive. And this is somebody who is going to be very supportive of you. The Queen of Pentacles is somebody who uh, who plans for your success here. She's somebody who is going to help you have success. She she uh, plans ahead, so she's going to help you save your money or help you uh, overcome any financial setbacks you're going to have as well. She's a very loyal and loving wifey, very supportive woman. She's somebody who you know you can come home to, and she's gonna she's gonna help relax you after a long stressful day. You're like, baby, I'm, I'm hurting for work. I fucking you saw me carrying those ten of wands earlier. I fucking broke my back. You know, I broke I broke my fucking back. I need you to pop my back into place. I need you to help help uh, relieve my stress. And you give me a nice little massage, rub me down, fucking give me a happy ending. After the stress I've been dealing with today, I need I need you to blow me. I'm, I'm stressed out. And she's going to do that. She's going to do all those things with a smile. This woman loves to please her man. She loves to help you um, get over that, that stressful day, alleviate your tension. She's going to help you restore that emotional balance here, bring, you, bring that emotional stability back, calm those turbulent waters after a stressful day. That queen is going to please her king. That queen of pentacles is, is very supportive. Very stable. That woman is rock solid, man. She's not gonna. She's not gonna disappear on you if you go through a difficult time. Think about the Queen of Pentacles. You could lose your job. You could. You could. You could have a a, a, 
a fallout with somebody. You could, you could have you could have to go through some of the worst times. And she's somebody that's going to stick there through you through thick and thin. You come home, she's going to be dressed up in a nice, she's going to be dressed up in a sexy little outfit for you. You put a little skimpy little outfit for you, a little mini skirt on with some crotchless panties when you come home. She's going to role play for you. So this this is a very solid person you got coming in. This is this is a this is a commitment that you you're gonna love. This person's gonna love to please you. They're gonna love to be there for you. You got a tower card coming out though, so there's gonna be a sudden a sudden change, a sudden realization. There's a big shakeup going on right now. This card coming out. Um, what I get is your person's about to have a fallout with whoever they're dealing with. It, it's for some of you, this is gonna be. Um, a fallout for you and your person, but that's not what I'm getting because you have the four of cups coming out here. So it's like your person is dissatisfied with their options or dissatisfied with what's being offered to them currently. So that's why there's an ending that's about to be happening here. Your person is not satisfied with the current situation. So this is about to come crashing, crashing down here. This, this, this tower is going to come tumbling down and it's going to allow you two to have this new beginning. This ace here. When, when that, when that thing gets, gets, gets bulldozed out of the fucking way. There you two are building that new beautiful relationship, that that powerful connection, restoring what you two once had here. That Ace of Cups, is a, that's a card of a res restoration, restoring the contentment to your love situation. And you see it here with the Four of, uh, four of Wands, your first card was restoring peace and harmony to your love connection. So if you're going to be restoring something, I don't see that this is your tower card. I don't see that this is going to collapse on you. At least not yet, especially with, with how excited your person is to get back with you, the, the passion being reignited with that ace of wands coming out. The sex is good. The excitement is there. The, the thrill is back. And, and you see what I'm saying? This is not your tower. I see that this is your person coming to realization. Once again, just like that ace of swords earlier, your person's like, oh, shit, I want to be with you. Or, oh, shit, we have something special here. And I, I don't have that with all these other boring ass options I've been dealing with. So something is about to come to an end in your person's life. They're about to make a big change up. They're about to be putting an end to some other shit that they put a lot of time into. That's main. And you see it here with the five of swords. They're going to be coming back to you after, after walking away with, uh, with somebody else. This, this is, this is your person returning to you after putting you through a humiliating defeat, walking away with somebody. You're like, I couldn't fucking believe you walked away with them. I already knew. I already told you that they weren't going to give you shit. I already told you that they weren't going to please you and teach you the way I was going to. You, you're over here. I, I saw the look on your face. I knew you weren't happy about this. Your person is the one who walked away taking a loss. You're over here. You had to pick up the pieces. Wake your person to fuck up. You, you went up on that. You went up against your person. You get a bit of go up against that tree. Fucking wake your person to fuck up. Say, hey, wake, wake, get the shake, them off, shake that tree. Say, wake the fuck up. What are you doing? I said, I have no idea. I'm going to have to put an end to this shit. We're going to we're gonna have to restore what we once had here. With this ace of cups. So your person wants to restore this thing. They want that new beginning. You're going to be overcoming that humiliating loss. You're going to be overcoming that. that uh, your person walking away with somebody else. You having to pick up the pieces. But that's what I see for you here. You and your person. Very good. Yeah, Ace of Cups, restoring uh, contentment, judgment card, getting a second chance, revival, resuscitating this this dead lifeless connection here. Four of Wands, your your card, restoring peace and harmony, taking this thing to the next level with your person. All these are good cards. You have a couple. You have a couple little disasters in here, but I see you overcoming this. It's what the judgment card is all about. Your person making a judgment call saying, you know what? I know we've had some rough times. I know we had some rough patches. I know things didn't go our way. I know that I had walked away with somebody else. But look, I want to I want to restore what we had because, look, this connection was exciting. Ace of Cups, we had a lot in common. The sex was good. The, for, the, for the Ace of Wands, we, we had some passion going on here. You know, I had a lot of fun when I was with you. This, this shit, this, this, what I'm, what I'm doing now, this just put me to fuck. This was just put me to fuck asleep. I can't deal with that. I don't think so. They they had to, they had to break this tower down. They said they said we got we got to hit that thing with a wrecking ball, get that thing the fuck out of the way, so we can restore contentment, restore happiness to our connection. 
There you have it again. Yeah, your person, they're walking away. You saw it with the five of swords. Look, they walked away from that person. Now what? They found out the grass was not greener. Empty ass cups once again. Look at this. Your person been dealing with empty cups all over. Empty cups galore. Unfulfillment galore. Bad sex galore. No orgasms galore. Your person was, was being unfulfilled, having some boring ass sex. Um, you whoever they were with, it, it's like they, they had no sense of humor. They had some, the, they they had no fun. Your person was over there fucking doing missionary every night, fucking telling them terrible jokes. Your person, your person was your person was was couldn't wait to walk away. They're making their escape. This is you know what this card has to do with this card has to do with making an escape for the eight of the eight of cups. So your person couldn't wait to 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 take that exit. They're 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 slipping away. They said, I, I can't I can't deal with this lifeless, boring shit anymore with these these dead ass fucking empty cups. The fuck is that? I got I got one cup from you, and that just that changed my life. Look at the way, look at the, the overflowing, ah, oh, ah, oh, gushing, gushing with passion here with that uh, ace coming out. So your person couldn't contain the way they felt about you anymore. They, they, it's, it's about to come. They're about to come exploding out with it. You saw it earlier with the ace of swords. Communication is coming in. Uh, your person has come into that aha moment, that realization. Um, same with the same with the, the tower card here. It's a sudden realization. It's like, oh, shit, I'm in a fucking nightmare. I'm, I'm, I got I to gotta put an end to this thing. I, I can't I can't take this shit anymore. I gotta I gotta walk the fuck away. I gotta I gotta I gotta head for the exits. I can't I can't deal with this 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 lifeless connection no more. And that's when that new beginning is coming in for you. You're gonna be restoring happiness and contentment to your relationship here. Bring you back what you two once had and uh celebrating here, having some fun, happy endings in store. That's gonna be your uh your reading. Libra, I'm gonna get you added message here from the money law of attraction cards. But yeah, Libra, your cards look great. Your relationship, it looks like it's going to be improving in a big way. Your person's about to be walking away from an unfulfilling, boring-ass relationship, putting an end to this thing. It's going to come crashing down. Your person's been working on this thing for a long time with this unfulfilling option. And they've been leaving you out in the cold, been breadcrumbing you. You've been working on this connection. You've been, look at you, you. You were out there carrying that ten of wands, fucking hurting yourself, trying to, trying to carry all the weight of this relationship on your own. And it's going to pay off. That hard work is paying off. You saw it earlier with the Six of Wands. You're being rewarded for your efforts. You saw it with the Six of Swords. Progress. You're going to be able to move forward successfully. Your person's transitioning away from that difficult situation. Cutting you some slack here. And the card that I got for you, Libra, is I'm developing the skill to direct my thoughts. I'm developing the skill to direct my thoughts. I read the message on the back for you. It says, The most valuable skill or talent you could ever develop is that of directing your thoughts toward what you want. To be adept at quickly evaluating all situations and quickly coming to the conclusion of what you most want, and then giving your undivided attention to that. Same thing with this. To give your undivided attention to what you want here, you're going to get it. There is a tremendous skill in deliberately directing your own thoughts that will yield results that cannot be compared with results that mere actions can provide. So you can work yourself to death. And if you're not, if you're not thinking positive, you're not, you're not connected with what you want, you're not going to get it. So Ten of Wands, don't break your back when you're not when you're not connected with what you want, when you're not focused on what you want here. Don't be breaking your back, Libra. But I see you having success here. I see you restoring this connection, restoring. Excitement and fun here with that ace of uh, cups of brandy beginning coming and you two restoring this. this is the beginning of a love affair here. Start something special. Um, you saw a judgment card here. Your person's making that judgment card. They're like, look, we've been through so much shit together. I can't give up on you. I want to get back with you here, giving you that second chance, bring this relationship back to life. Your first card, Libra, was that four of wands, restoring peace and harmony, stability to your love connection, taking things to that next level. There it is. And there you have it, Libra. That's going to be your reading. Hope you enjoy that. I know I enjoyed doing it for you. If it resonates with you, make sure you hit that like button. A lot of Libras out there be able to view these messages for their love lights. We do with them, the whole Libra family. Put that good energy out there for them. Put it out there for yourself. If it's your first time here, make sure it is not your last time here. Subscribe to the channel. Click on that little notification bell so you get notified when your reading comes out. You do not want to miss it. And you don't want to miss your chance 
Devil's Grow here. Epic Final Effect Tarot by donating. You donate to my Cash App, my PayPal, or my Venmo, and all that information, as well as I can book a personal reading if this resonates with you. It will be included in that description box below this video. So you can do that down there. I want to say thank you so much for doing that down there. Thank you for your comments, likes, and subscriptions. Support on this channel. I'm going to go ahead and jump to your comments. We got quite a few. Uh, but yeah, uh, Mike, suddenly rise. I want to thank you very much for the um, for the super chat. Appreciate you. Seven, you haven't heard from a Gemini. Is it over? Is it over? No. If this resonates with you, it's definitely not over. It's it's not even close to over. I see your person walking away, and I see why you think it's over. If your person been fucking around, they've been breadcrumbing you here. Right, you got the six of, uh, six of, uh, pentacles coming out. They've been they've been giving you little scraps, starving you to death. You're wondering, you're sitting out here in the cold. What when what's going on? What the fuck is happening here? I see that your person is going to be showing you some love here soon. They want to restore this connection with you. You see here with the judgment card coming out. Listen to your intuition, though. Whatever you're guided to do, make sure you do it. You saw the Ace of Swords coming out earlier. So you're going to come out. You're, there's going to be a, a realization that's coming through for you and this person. So do what you're intuitively guided to do. If you feel like you need to reach out to your person, make sure you do it. Because I'm getting, for many of you, your person's too proud to say anything or do anything for this connection. They're, they're, your person's the high priestess. They're very cold. They're very detached. The way they communicate is very different. They, they send little subtle messages here and there. So they're not going to come out and just say, like, look, I want to I want to get back together with you. I want to do this with you. But if you make it clear what you want to your person, they, they are going to give you a second chance here. They are going to restore this relationship. You see it here with the judgment card. They're going to be giving you a second chance. They want to get back together. Um, they're, they're more excited about you than anybody else. You see that 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 passion pouring out of them here with the Ace of Cups. You excite your person. You bring that thrill out of them. You saw the Ace of Wands coming out earlier. You have good sex. There's going to be some hot, passionate, intense sweaty sex coming in for you too that's been missing for a long time your person's not having that where they're at eight of cups i don't think so four of cups definitely not the person's bored and falling asleep whoever they're fucking around with now they're ready to get away so i'm getting your person you will be hearing from them again despite the fact they put you through a painful loss here look the five of swords they walk away with somebody else they're not happy with that person so you're getting a second chance here it's not over You said you believe this is a leap reading. Well, you'd be right because it is. It is a leap reading. You, you, uh, you know, no, no need to believe it. It is true. Uh, but yeah. You said don't forget to give a like to everyone. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know. If it depends, though. I can't. I can't be. Liking these people that are talking all this mess. I don't I don't like that. I'm gonna be honest. You're gonna come on my channel just to just to just to, um say that oh you no, know, it's bullshit. My person's never coming back, or this and that. Oh wait, wait, it's like are you you came out here just to say that. Yeah, like I like you know, have a little bit of faith. If um if they're not coming back and you're done with them, then be done with them. Don't even, why even bring them up. What's the point? What's the point of coming out and saying, oh, they're never coming back? Well, then then give, give us somebody else if they're not coming back. What's, what's the point? But I see this person is coming back, the one you're dealing with here. Ace of Cups, they're wanting to restore this relationship. They get more excitement out of you than any of these other options they're dealing with. They're trying to get the fuck away from whoever they're dealing with here. So I see them wanting to be with you. I see you having a very deep connection with this person. Your first card, Four of Wands. Restoring peace and harmony to this thing, restoring stability, taking this thing to the next level. Protected connection, by the way. You get a little canopy here. Yeah, all kinds of comments. I've already been on this this thing a lot longer than I wanted to. You say give love, give likes to everybody. Um, thanks everybody so much for the likes, comments, subscriptions, all that good stuff. Um, you know I love Libra on here. And I already did one of the bonus readings for you, Libra. The, the, the bonus reading for Libra, by the way, was excellent. It was, it was, it was a lot of fun doing your bonus reading. So would love to do another one for you, Libra. You're um, going to be up for runnings this week. I already know you're going to hit the 2000s. Libra, you're um, like right behind, you're like right behind um, Capricorn for the most viewed sign on my, on my channel here, the most uh, supportive sign on my channel. So want to thank you for showing that support and that love every single week here. Uh, 
it is appreciated. It's not going unnoticed. I want to thank you again, Mike, for the super chat and whoever else decides to um, send donations and support to the channel. I want to say thank you so much. Um, thanks to all the leavers out there. God bless you. And y'all have a great weekend.